as per our discussion so far in this playlist we know that kidneys regulate ph by two fundamental mechanism the first one is reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate and the second mechanism is excretion of h plus and formation of new bicarbonate here excretion of h plus it occurs by two different mechanism the first one that excretion of h plus by excretion of titratable acid and here the major titratable acid which is present in urine is h2po4 minus however there are several minor buffers less important buffers are also present they are collectively we will consider it as a other minor buffers the second mechanism is excretion of h plus by excretion of ammonium ion that is nh4 plus now in the previous video i had already discussed about reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate in this video tutorial i will be discussing about this second mechanism so let's start our discussion with this that is excretion of h plus and formation of new bicarbonate by excretion of titratable acid jo point number 2a that is excretion of titratable acids now the site for the excretion of titratable acid is collecting duct and distal tubule now to understand this mechanism let's first draw the diagram of renal tubular cell now as i had already discussed previously we know that both of this mechanism to carry out both this mechanism the first step is the h plus secretion right so here also the first step for this excretion of titratable acid is the secretion of h plus suppose this is the renal tubular cell on the right side i am showing lumen and on the left side i am showing renal interstitial fluid so first step is the secretion of h plus that means h plus is transported from the cell to the lumen to carry out this transport there are specific transporters available on the apical membrane of this cell membrane right now what are these different transporters in collecting duct and distal tubule that i had already discussed in the previous video so i am not repeating that now once this h plus is transported inside the lumen it binds with this hpo4 minus 2 it is already present in the lumen so this h plus and hpo4 minus 2 both binds with each other and forms h2po4 minus 1 right we call this as a mono basic phosphate now the problem with this mono basic phosphate is that it cannot be reabsorbed back so what will happen it gets excreted in the urine it gets excreted right now from where does this h plus is coming so it is formed by the this combination of carbon dioxide and water this carbon dioxide and water they are coming from this renal interstitial fluid this carbon dioxide is coming by diffusion whereas this water molecule is coming by this aquaporin channel which is present on this basolateral side of cell membrane so carbon dioxide binds with the water molecule in the presence of enzyme carbonic anhydrase 2 and forms h2co3 that is carbonic acid this carbonic acid gets dissociated into h plus and hco3 minus that is bicarbonate this h plus will add up to this h plus which can further secreted whereas this bicarbonate it gets transported by this basolateral side of the cell membrane and there are specific transporters available at this location so now this bicarbonate is exit from the cell and it is entering into this renal interstitial fluid so as we can see that this bicarbonate is not coming from this lumen so this is our brand new bicarbonate we call this as a new bicarbonate to specify that it is not the reabsorbed bicarbonate right the second thing to note over here is that that this secreted h plus is binding with this dibasic phosphate and it is converted to monobasic phosphate which is further excreted so h plus itself in the free form is not excreted rather it is 
excreted in this form which is bound form right and while excreting this H plus new bicarbonate is generated. Now let us look at the second mechanism and yes one more thing that this transporter also which are present in this collecting duct and distal tubule we had already discussed in the previous video. Now let us discuss about this second mechanism that excretion of H plus and formation of new bicarbonate by excretion of ammonium ion that is NH4 plus. So our point number 2b is the excretion of ammonium ion. Now this mechanism also occurs in the collecting duct and distal tubule. So to better understand, suppose this is the renal tubular epithelial cell. So this is the cell as usual I am showing lumen on the right side and renal interstitial fluid on the left side. Here also the first step is the secretion of H plus. So H plus gets secreted from the apical side of the cell membrane by the specific transporters. Now again this transporter I had discussed about in the previous video, right. So once H plus is transported in the lumen, in the lumen there is a presence of ammonia. Now this ammonia, it is synthesized by the kidney itself in the proximal tubule from the glutamine okay and then it is transported inside this lumen. Now this wall mechanism of generating this ammonia and secreting in the lumen it is very interesting one but little bit lengthier. So I am reserving that discussion for the future videos. Right now just remember that ammonia is present inside the lumen of collecting duct and distal tubule. So now what will happen this H plus it binds with this ammonia and it forms ammonium ions. Now this ammonium ions faces the same problem as that of this, right? That means it is not able to reabsorb back. So what will happen to this ammonium ion? It will get excreted in the urine. Ammonium ions are excreted, right? Now from where does this H plus is coming? The story is same as that of this discussion. That means this H plus ions, they are generated from carbon dioxide and water, which are derived from this renal interstitial fluid. Carbon dioxide is transported by diffusion, simple diffusion, whereas water molecule, they are transported by the aquaporin channel, which are present on this basolateral side of cell membrane. This carbon dioxide and water combines with each other to form carbonic acid, that is H2CO3. Here, carbonic anhydrase 2 will accelerate this reaction. This carbonic acid gets dissociated into H plus and HCO3 minus. This HCO3 minus exit from the cell by this basolateral side of cell membrane by the specific transporters. And so bicarbonate ultimately appears into this renal interstitial fluid. This H plus it can go for the secretion. So once again as you can see over here that this bicarbonate is not reabsorbed one. See here there is no bi no role of bicarbonate, right? So bicarbonate, this particular bicarbonate, it is not reabsorbed bicarbonate, rather it is a brand new bicarbonate. So this we label as a new bicarbonate, right? So as you can see in this both the mechanism, what is happening? H plus is getting secreted, which is ultimately getting excreted either in the form of this monobasic phosphate or in the form of ammonium ion, right? Along with this excreted H plus, there is a formation of new bicarbonate, right? So that completes our discussion about this second mechanism. Now here I would like to draw a summary of all these three mechanism. That means the summary of this reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate, this excretion of titratable acid and excretion of ammonium ions, right? So if we do summary, then our some more concept will be clear. So, here we are talking about three basic mechanisms. The first one is reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate. The second mechanism is excretion of titratable acid. 
acids and the third mechanism is excretion of NH4 plus right. So, to better understand all these three mechanism let me draw three renal tubular cells Now, at all these three places, the first step is always secretion of H plus. So, here H plus is getting secreted, here also H plus is getting secreted and here also H plus is getting secreted. Now, what happens in case of reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate? This H plus, it binds with bicarbonate. What happens in excretion of titratable acid? It binds with HPO4 minus 2, dibasic phosphate ions. Right? And there may be other minor buffer also, but as this is the major one, I am showing only this. What happens in excretion of NH4 plus? Here it binds with ammonia. Right. Now, over here, in case of reabsorption of filtered bicarbonate, what will happen? It will form H2CO3. Now, this H2CO3 will get converted to H2O and CO2 by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase 4. This enzyme is present on this apical cell membrane right then what will happen this h2 and co2 will get reabsorbed into this cell right water will come by this aquaporin channel and carbon dioxide will enter by this simple diffusion and then this h2o and co2 will be converted by carbonic anhydrase 2 into h2co3 which gets dissociated into h plus and hco3 minus this HCO3 minus will exit from this basolateral side into this renal interstitial fluid. So, you can see that this bicarbonate is ultimately reabsorbed over here. So, we call this bicarbonate as a reabsorbed bicarbonate. In case of excretion of titratable acid, what will happen? That combination of this H plus and HPO4 minus 2, it will make H2PO4 minus 1 which is not able to get reabsorbed back, so it will be excreted in the urine. Here also H plus and ammonia combines and form NH4 plus. This NH4 plus is not able to get reabsorbed back, so it will also be excreted. Now here, what is the source of H plus? So in both the case, source of H plus is same. It is from the carbon dioxide and water. From where does this carbon dioxide and water come? It comes from this renal interstitial fluid. Here also it comes from renal interstitial fluid. Carbon dioxide by simple diffusion and water by aquaporin channel. Now by the presence of carbonic anhydrase 2, it is converted to H2CO3 and the same thing will happen over here also. So there is a formation of H2CO3. H2CO3 dissociate into H plus which can be further secreted and the second component is bicarbonate and this bicarbonate is transported back into this renal interstitial fluid. Here also same thing will happen H plus will be dissociated from HCO3 minus and this HCO3 minus exit the cell from this basolateral side of cell membrane and finally appear into this renal interstitial fluid and this H plus can be secreted. Right. So, here you can see that this bicarbonate and this bicarbonate, it is not reabsorbed from this lumen, rather it is newly generated. So, both of this bicarbonate, these are the new bicarbonate. So, from this summary, we can say that whenever H plus binds with the bicarbonate inside the lumen, it leads to reabsorption of bicarbonate. But whenever H plus binds with any other buffer other than this bicarbonate, for example, this phosphate or it may be other minor buffer or it may be ammonia, it will lead to net excretion of acid, right, in the form of either H2PO4- or in the form of ammonium and along with that, new bicarbonate is synthesized. So, that is the essence of wall story, right. So, this completes our discussion, excretion of H plus and formation of new bicarbonate maybe by excretion of titratable acid or maybe by excretion of ammonium ion. In the next video tutorial, I will discuss about the factors affecting the renal regulation of pH. If you have any query or confusion, please write it down in the comment section below. Thank you.